champion of the world. How does it feel? And how does it look? Right up. I am player one. I've said this before. I started the game at level two. These boys are still loading. Like you ever heard about an anime called Death Note? Anyone? Hands up. Yeah, so he's the Grim Reaper, right? I have a Shinigami with me. And I just had to write his name because I knew. I was like, he's not going to last. I just wrote his name in a Death Note. And those who know the rules of the Death Note, they know there's a certain time frame that after your name's written in the Death Note, the Shinigami will get you. This Every time I've said something, I said, I'm the UFC middleweight champion from my UFC debut. You just don't know it yet. I did that for my UFC debut, and I did. My, before my, my UFC debut, I said I was gonna fight Robert Whitaker for this belt in 2019, and I did. I said I'm gonna beat John Jones, 2021, Raider Stadium, International Fight Week, and I will. Every single time I say something, I always find a way. There's a method to my madness. I put it out there in front of the world, so that way, I do everything in my power. My subconscious does everything in its power to make it happen, if not, then I have to eat my words, and I don't like doing that, you know? So I make them eat their words every single time. Well, to G myself up sometimes, if you ever feel, you know, down, sometimes you look at yourself and you give yourself positive affirmations. That was something I used to do every morning. Um, but also therapy, after my first UFC fight, like straight after I got home, I was like, hmm, I need to go see someone about this. Cause, no way, really? Yeah. I mean, like, think about it like coffee. You know, if you drink coffee, right? Mm -hmm. You get a, a coffee high and then you crash. So it's like after my first UFC fight, UFC 221 in Perth, there was just a lot of stimulus, a lot of people coming at you. And then when I was finally home alone with my own thoughts, I was just like, it was like a crash. It was like, I was sad and I was sad for like a week. And I was like, why am I sad? I just made my UFC debut in spectacular fashion, made mm -hmm. 50K bonus. Mm -hmm. and I realized this isn't really normal. So I sought the help that I needed to help me adjust to the life. And it wasn't until, um, my fourth UFC fight that was in New York, MSG, mm -hmm. that I felt like after I got back, I was able to integrate back into like my own life properly without being in a low. You might say you, not everyone is mentally ill, but if you don't look after your mental health, mm -hmm. just like if you don't look after your physical health, right. you're gonna get physically ill. So you have to be on top of it. God. I think one thing that helps is martial arts. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu helps. Like oh, when you go you. get strangled all the time, that helps. I fucking hate that word, man. Honestly, yeah. it's so overused. And I've said it but before. I'm like, I'm like, what's humble? Because I've asked, right. and especially in New Zealand, there's this culture of like, people even like, they, they don't like me because it's, oh, he's not, a, he's not humble like a, a true Kiwi. He's not, mm -hmm. you know, like the All Blacks, you know, humble. And what they mean, and I've asked people this, what does humble mean? And someone said, oh, you know, you just don't brag. I'm like, Ugh. they just mean, downplaying your success yes you know so if anyone like me rocks up and just i'm owning it i'm like Fuck you're it. owning it yeah i'm the champ i'm the man i'm the being champ. the champ you're him and then they say oh no he's not humble but i tell you what humble is when i have dan hooker on my fucking neck hangman yeah humble is when i have stephen warby cracking me with an uppercut mm -hmm. humble is when i have carlos kicking me in the body and making my liver go <laughs> that's true humility yeah but me like trying to act I'll sh you know, dull my shine just to mm. make someone else feel comfortable. That's not humble. Life is tough, man. So yeah, it's good to go through those kind of situations because and I tell those kids, don't worry, because a lot of them, they think this is how life is going to be forever. This is it. And I remember being that kid. So if I could, if I could go back and tell myself anything, it's just keep going because eventually, you know, you, you don't, you're not going to peak in high school. They will. Mm. I go back to the, the, the town I, that, that I was at then, and I see a lot of them now. Because even in my brain, when I, when I think about those situations, I see them still as bigger than me. But when I go back, I'm towering over them. I like to be with my own thoughts. A lot of people don't like to be with their own thoughts because they don't like what's happening up here. But you have to face yourself so you can learn how to beat yourself in a way so yeah if i can conquer myself i can conquer anyone so yeah this is a part of not just my training but just life in general learning how to just be alone with my own thoughts and enjoy my own company because yeah i mean how can you love someone if you don't love yourself
I, I still have love for the guy and I respect the guy. He might not feel the same, but he's some. He's a I guy think that. He does. I think yeah. he does. And he he told me like in the like he he let me know what to do. He told me like I said, don't lose focus. And that's why even right now, like I said, FOMO. I'm like, you know, all this shit is cool. This victory tour, you know, mm. rating this shit around. It's nice, but I want to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the work, attitude man. that makes champions. Hundred percent, man. They see me shining and they see how I'm working and they're like, I, you know why I recognize jealousy in other people? I used to be that guy. Yeah. I used to, I wouldn't say hate everyone, but there was one of my friends, I saw my Instagram the story, who I was jealous of because he was working in the mines, getting like 2,500 a week. And he was telling me, this is when I just moved to Auckland. He was telling me, come through, get some work. I'll, I'll look after, I'll make sure you get this job and get on the same pay as me. And after a while I realized I stopped like, Walking with him or like texting him back, and I didn't realize. I was like, Man, why? Why am I jealous? And I realized it's not. It's nothing to do with him. He's not taking anything it's away from you. me. Yeah. You know. So once I identify the monster, I can kill it. And now when I see it in other people, it's so easy to smell. I remember, uh, for me, I just knew I had to go to that place, and that's what my coach said, go to that place, embrace the darkness, go numb. And I looked across the cage from him and I said, you'll never beat me, I'm willing to die. Like, I was, and I meant that, like, if this is how I go out, this is how I go out. Hi. And I, uh, dude, I put lead foot down, uh, foot on the pedal, and even when I watched the fight again, when I watched the fight again, I get sweaty palms, my heart's racing, mm. I feel the emotions, and I was surprised, like, the pace I put after doing what I did for already what, 20 minutes pace I put on him in that fifth round, that's some shit that I don't want to toot my own horn, but man, that's legendary shit, man. So for me, when it's, you know, when I say that, I, I, I don't say it lightly. So when I say I was willing to die, I was willing to kill. Mm -hmm. And in that last round, you know, I dropped him in I think four, four times. I rocked him probably like six times. And the last 10 seconds of that flurry, I was just shifting hook, shifting hook. And I dropped him like five seconds left. And I just threw an elbow on him. Just, I was trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. Because they dog eat dog. I'm trying to eat them. And yeah. so the last style bender, that's based on, on what? Based off uh, a TV show I, I watched, The Avatar, it's a Nickelodeon show. Okay. And Aang, the main character, he had to realize his destiny as the Avatar by mastering all the four elements, which is water, earth, fire, and air, mm -hmm. to realize his destiny. And for me, in this, in this realm, I have to realize my destiny as the Avatar by mastering all the elements of, the av of martial arts. So a lot of stuff in that show is all kind of correlates with my life with different characters. So like they say what rising tides lift our boats exactly so right now after doing this i can't wait till i'm leaving uh, new york today going back home when i go home and i show my teammates this and they can see this it's like the four minute mile i heard um within the first year when it was broken four other people completed it so now they can see this is real that oh shit and they oh. know me they know I'm a, I'm a piece of shit like a lot of times like, I'm, I, you know, I fuck up or, you know, i'm late i show up I, I work don't get me wrong but like i I'm like Naruto. I'm a very uh, eclectic student. Mm. But then for me to have this, they'll be like, man, if he can get that, then I can step my game up as well. So I'm hoping I just inspire my team to, yeah, let's get this.